In the name of Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's topic is Muhammad lied to his wife Khatija, lied to Khatija and Warka bin Nafal. This was the beginning of the situation for Muhammad to convince Khatija and Warka bin Nafal about his revelation. Khatija was innocent about Muhammad. Warka bin Nafal was innocent about Muhammad. Everything was in Muhammad's mind. The technique, the way he wanted to keep his th things for practice about his revelation. Muhammad spoke to Khatija that he had a revelation. Khatija believed it. Khatija spoke to his cousin Warka bin Nafal. Warka bin Nafal believed it. And when uh, Muhammad spoke to Warka bin Nafal, Muhammad believed it. One thing was in the mind of Khatija and Warka bin Nafal, and that was that he may be, Muhammad may be, the man of the Bible, he may preach Jesus Christ, he may be like other prophets of the Bible. That's why they recommended him for the revelation. They did not know it, that it is all wrong. Whatever Muhammad told them all wrong, they did not know it. And they, time came, the, the, the time came and they died and they finished. They were finished. But Muhammad himself declared openly, clearly that he was a kafir, not even a Muslim. And he spoke in front of his poet Hassan bin Tabit, according to Bukhari Hadith number 1472, where Hassan bin Tabit told him that he is going to say something about the infidels through his poetry and he wants to highlight the infidels in his poetry. And Muhammad openly, clearly, honestly, based on the fact, told Hassan bin Tabat that his descent, his lineage, his family tree belongs to the infidels. Wow! That means after many years, after Khatija and Warka bin Nafal, Muhammad declared the truth and the fact that he is not even a Muslim. He is an infidel. Which means that Muhammad lied to his cousin, his wife, sorry, his wife Khatija, that he had the revelation. And Khatija's cousin Warka bin Nafal, that he had the revelation. This was all lie. Muhammad lied to Khatija and Warka bin Nafal about his revelation. And they believed, they thought that he may be become the prophet of the Bible, apostle of the Bible, messenger of the Bible, but it was all wrong. 
because Muhammad proved that he was a kafir, he was, a, he was an infidel. On the saying of Hassan bin Tabat, who was his poet, and Hassan bin Tabat told him that he is going to speak about the infidels. And Muhammad said, it is factual fact that my descent is from the same group, means the infidels. So out of this whole situation, we come to the conclusion that Muhammad lied to Khatija, his wife, and also lied to his cousin, Warqa bin Nafal, who was the cousin of Khatija. So that was the real situation about Muhammad, how he dealt with his wife and his cousin Warqa bin Nafal. And that is Islam, because Muhammad was not even a Muslim. In fact, he was a kafir, an infidel. And that is the fact, the real fact, legal fact, historical fact, under the Hadith number 1472. And he, even his descent was from the infidels, all infidels. And descent, is, you can find it in Bukhari, Volume 5, Chapter 28, page 112. That is the true factual fact about Muhammad, that Muhammad was an infidel, a kafir, not even a Muslim. My friends, you who are Muslims, think about it, read the facts, read the Hadith number 1472 on your own, find it out, and also those facts which are found in Bukhari, this volume 1, Hadith number 3, where Muhammad spoke to Khatija and Warqa bin Nafal, but he lied to both of them and remained infidel for the whole of his life. He came to this world as an infidel, infidel, became the prophet of infidels and died as an infidel. It is not good for you Muslims to keep on following him. Come out of this mess. Whatever I have mentioned is all true. Otherwise, you will all go to the hellfire forever. Come out of this mess and accept the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the owner of the kingdom of heaven. God bless you all. Thank you.